Hi everybody, Deborah and Bandit here. Thank you for being on my channel. Today we're going to talk about the details on my sixth annual Cocoa Fest. Stay tuned! <music> Okay, I've got my notes ready and I don't want to miss anything, but if I do, be sure and leave your question in the comments below. And I am just so excited about this meetup. So it will be at the same place as last year, the City of Rock State Park in New Mexico, at, in Faywood, New Mexico. Um, it, it was voted unanim unanimously by everyone that attended last year that that's where they wanted to hold it again. So that's what we're doing. And a lot of people that were there last year have told me they will be there this year. So that's exciting too. And thank you guys for that. So it is between um, Silver City and Deming. Silver City is to the north of City of Rock State Park. Deming is to the south. And like I told everybody last year, be sure you get your supplies uh, before you come to City of Rock State Park because there is nothing there. You wanna make sure that you're gassed up and filled up with everything, including food. And I'll go over activities at the meetup here in a moment, but you will want to get food for the potluck uh, dinner, and we're having a potluck breakfast on the last day. And there, uh, depending on who all comes, there may be a uh, cast iron cook-off. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll be posting an itinerary and letting you guys know more as time gets closer. The um, dates are, drum roll, November 7th through 11th, and I have reserved and already paid for the pavilion again, so we are set for that. Um, Check-in is at 4 o'clock, and on the, um, sorry my glasses are bothering me, um, on the um, first day, on Monday, November 7th, at 4 o'clock, we will have a meet and greet and I will do major announcements. I realized that the site and when you make your reservations, it says uh, check-in is at four o'clock, but you can definitely get there early. And if your site is available, you can go on to your site and then come over to the pavilion at four. If your site isn't available yet, just come on to the meet and greet at four o'clock on Monday this um, the seventh. And, and then maybe you can go to your site. But last year, everybody was able to get checked in early and get to their site and then come to the meet and greet. And if you want, you might even come up a couple of days early and, and stay a couple of days late. That is up to you, but I only have the pavilion from November 7th through 11th. So uh, there were about 35 that, that, that were there last year. And like I said, they voted unanimously to have it at the same place again. And one of the things that I, um, I didn't share last year on any of the videos is that um, City of Rocks is formed by volcanic ash almost 30 million years ago. And that was sculpted by wind and water into these rows of monolithic blocks, which makes up the City of Rocks. It's just such a unique and wonderful, even sacred place. Now, if you're wanting um, more information about the park itself and you wanna see all that happened last year, go to the playlist. I'm gonna put uh, in the video description in the pinned comment below. I'm gonna list, uh, give you the link to a playlist of all videos from last year's from all of the creators that were there that made videos and so you can go through and watch that including uh, my announcement video last year that gave uh, probably more information than I'm doing this year since it's our second time there it is the temperatures are in the 60s during the day and 30s at night this year I hope to have tarps up around of the pavilion, at least on three sides, and some propane bowls in the middle of the pavilion uh, that will provide us heat and everything if we have nighttime activities. And more about that in a moment. So as of yesterday, there were at least 20 sites still available. There are five first come first serve sites and there are two tent sites that are not on the reservation list. Um, so last year I said, I think, I think I said there were dozens of first come first serve sites, uh, but that's not true. They have limited it now to five uh, plus two tent sites. And so um, if you don't get reservations, you might can even take your chance on that, but we'll talk more about reservations and backup plans in just a moment. At the end of this video, there is a drive-through of the entire park. And so if you haven't been there before, or if you haven't seen that, you'll want to stick around for that. 
Now, none, uh, there are a lot of the sites that are not level, you guys, so just be prepared for that. Bring leveling blocks or um, even if you have a short rig, you may want to have leveling blocks or something that can help you um, with that because, it, you know, the city of rocks, the rocks themselves are, are up on a hill and then the, the, the campsites are all around that and so there's an incline. Uh, um, again, about reservations, each site can, well, not each site can double up, but, but most sites you can double up but each of you would have to pay ten dollars a night so um, be sure when you are making your reservation that you check uh, your rig and the driveway length for example one site there is only 15 feet long and so it is meant for just cars or minivans or something like that so be sure and check the day use fee is waived when you make your reservation so it talks about on the website about um, the day use fee but it's not like texas state parks it is um you once you make your reservation that that day use fee is waived for every day and if the reservations are full when you go to go check um please keep checking back or another drum roll please i have created a facebook group uh, where everyone that has confirmed reservations will be able to join. It's a private face gr Facebook group for Coco Fest 2022, and we will all be able to communicate there. That's where I'll be posting the itinerary and any updates. And if you don't get a reservation and you want to double up with somebody, it doesn't save you any money because everybody still has to pay the ten dollars. But at least maybe you can post on there that you need to to join somebody. Now there are discounts like the annual state park pass and things like that. Go to the uh, New Mexico website state park website to get that information and again i'll have those links below and um you can like i said you can come early and stay late but the group pavilion is um reserved from november 7th through the 11th monday through friday at monday at 4 p.m on that 7th we will have a meet and greet and on friday we will be out of the pavilion by 12 noon even though checkout at your individual sites isn't until 2 p.m so for those of you um, that are, are already cleared to stay at the in the pavilion site, just know you got to be out of there uh, by 12 noon. We'll have a brekkie that morning so that we all get to say goodbye to each other. It's a potluck brekkie. There are showers and restrooms at the park office, plus there's a couple of vault toilets, maybe even three around the park. And there are water and dump stations, uh, but the sites themselves, unless you happen to get an a site with electricity, uh, the, all of the sites are um, pretty much dry docking. Nearby, if you don't get reservations or if you just want to stay somewhere else, is a Faywood Hot Springs, but there's not really any boondocking around the state park. But Faywood Hot Springs for dry docking, they start at $25 a night, and then they have rooms and cabins, and you can check on that. And again, I'll have the link below. So, um, let's see. For the boondocking, um, there, if, if you don't want to stay at the uh, state park or you don't get reservations and you can't um, uh, double up with somebody, and you don't want to do Faywood Hot Springs. There is boondocking around Silver City and Dimming, but you need to use your favorite apps for that and, and check and make your, your own, um, uh, your own res, um, plans. I can't even talk today. Your own plans. And then um, uh, you would have to drive in to join us. And I, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's like 20 to 30 miles away. So that might not be something you want to do unless you're just going to come out for a day or two. Inside the city park, city park, <laughs> city of Rock State Park, there are seven trails and, and that total over like seven and a half miles. There, um, there's a hydro trail that goes all the way around the park. You can walk through the rocks uh, that's not even listed as a trail, but there's a planet walk. There's a botanical garden. Way up high, there's an observation point. There's Indian meal grinding stones at this park and there are petroglyphs. In fact, for anybody that can show me a picture of them standing by all five petroglyphs in the park, I'm going to have a very special prize drawing uh, the day of the raffle for uh, the people that go and find all five petroglyph sites. Uh, so keep that in mind. I, like I said, I'll be posting an itinerary and, and we will we'll go over all of that. But um, 
uh, later when it gets closer and in the Facebook group for those who have um, gotten a reservation or that know that they are coming. So the raffle items last year, you guys, we had a, a homemade quilt. We had everything. We had knives, really good uh, set of knives. Somebody uh, donated a wave, a new Wave 3 heater. There was a Mr. Buddy heater, a Jackery, a solar panel. Um, so if you're interested in bringing something for the rifle, raffle this year, uh, just make it uh, $20 or more. We will have a free pile if there's stuff you're just wanting to get rid of. But for the raffle, I would like for that to be a value of $20 or more please and we're also gonna have t-shirts I'm wearing my t-shirt from uh, last year and um, we are in the process of designing the t-shirt for this year and don't forget if you're a patron you get 20% off and I have a new store manager you guys her name is Susan Smith and she is putting up new stuff all the time I've been posting that on social media so be sure and check that out but the, my t-shirts for Cocoa Fest 2022 will be available on my spring store and I will let you I'll make an announcement when they are finally up and you can find my spring store in the banner down below each video so as far as activities oops hang on I forgot to get the um, the sheet for the activity okay I'm back <laughs> okay so so last year and again it depends on who all comes and, and what all you guys want to do and in the Facebook book group I'll be asking people what kind of classes do you want but last year we had a geocache class we uh, for newbies we showed how to do a trailer hitch and unhitch I'm probably going to be sharing my favorite apps this year and um, I've asked somebody that has Starlink and has had Starlink for quite a while to uh, teach a class on that. Uh, we had a cast iron 101 and um, oh I'm, I'm looking through here and I can't even I can't even see it all so we just had a lot of things that we did last year and um, also this year we're going to do the cast iron cook-off again and we are going to do the cornhole competition again and of course the winners of those uh, get get fabulous prizes last year it was $25 gift certificates each and I'm thinking about doing something differently this year so we'll see and then at night we will have a movie night and we'll have a dance night and if there's not a um, fire ban um, or a burn ban we there is a group um, a huge group fire ring um, near the pavilion and we might have an evening campfire around that so be sure and bring clothes to stay warm and and I hope you'll join us in for the evening activities too Okay, let me see what else I want to share with you guys before I turn you over to doing to seeing the, the some of the sights and uh, the drive around the park. Um, this year I need I know I need three things and I'll be telling you some more things that I might need but I need uh, if you've got a propane fire boat please bring it and I'm gonna try like I said to put up extra large tarps around the pavilion so that it stays warmer in there in the evenings and so if you have extra large tarps uh, please bring those and again if there's not a burn bin please bring wood because there's nowhere to go get it around there and uh, so we need to bring that wood in and we'll talk more about that as we get closer uh, to November again if I've missed anything leave it in the comments below and let me know if you're coming and be sure to join the Facebook group after your reservations are made stay tuned for the drive around the park everybody and I hope to see you at Coco Fest 2022 bye now mm -hmm.